Welcome to Office Hours by Triple H Church. I'm your host, Carl Thomas. I'm a pastor, certified neural health coach, and a guy who frankly struggled with a lot of the stuff we talk about here for over 20 years until I found freedom about a decade ago. In today's episode, we are going to be jumping in and answering this question. Why can't I stop masturbating even though I stopped looking at porn? That's what I will be discussing today, so make sure you hang in there with me. Recognize that no questions are off the table, and I'm going to be as honest with my answers as I possibly can be, so don't get offended. Without any further delay, let's jump in. All right, so this question came into our Office Hours page. By the grace of God, I have been able to stop looking at porn, but I can't break my addiction to masturbation. Why? Now, we've gotten this question in different forms and shapes over the past however many months we've been doing Office Hours, so... Uh, you might want to scroll through or look up some of our previous office hours uh, where we tackled the topic of masturbation for some context. But let me answer this question. So, and it's not going to be a super long answer. Um, pornography or any other form of sexually uh, addictive behavior, or what, what we usually refer to as unwanted sexual behavior, it all serves the same purpose. And what I mean by that is this um, a lot of people think, unfortunately, that porn and masturbation and all this other stuff is just, it's a behavior issue, it's a horniness issue, it's a uh, overactive libido issue, and I just need to stop doing it. And that's not, that's really not it. Uh, The reason we go to these things or any type of vice, uh, you know, it could be eating the wrong types of foods or or overeating. Uh, It could be shopping compulsively. It could be a lot of different things. The reason we do these behaviors uh, is because we're trying to deal with difficult emotional feelings that, that, or difficult emotions that we are going through, right? We don't know how to handle our emotions properly. We don't know how to deal with the ups and downs of life. We don't know how to deal with the pain that we often carry around, usually from our childhood or formative years. And so rather than, well, be an adult and deal with that stuff uh, in a healthy way, we go to things like porn or masturbation um, to kind of get a bit of a high and get our mind off it so we can feel better. Now, when we search out porn, when we watch porn, those sorts of things release levels of dopamine in our brain, which make us feel really good, right? It's a high. Uh, Masturbation also is the same thing. It also releases uh, levels of dopamine. On top of it, when we masturbate to anything, uh, there's levels of oxytocin that go up. And oxytocin is what they call the love drug. It's the bonding drug. So that's why a lot of times when people, uh, when they're younger, uh, let's just say a young boy, he starts looking at naked girls on the internet and he's masturbating and he's orgasming and that's releasing oxytocin. He feels this weird bonding connection between him and the images he's looking at. It goes beyond the dopamine. It's also a bonding. Enough of the brain science. Uh, You might have conquered if you want, the habit of looking at porn, but you're probably still masturbating because on some level, you're still dealing with some of that unresolved pain or anxiety or uh, whatever it is that you've been dealing with, right? So, hey, I don't look at porn, but I still masturbate. I'm still getting that high somewhere. And uh, I think I've said this before, but if it's not porn, if it's not masturbation, it's going to be something else unless you deal with that thing that's driving you to do those behaviors. Maybe alcohol, maybe gambling. I don't know, but it's going to be something unless you deal with the stuff that you need to deal with, the baggage. So that's probably why you're still dealing with masturbation. Good on you. You're not looking at porn. I think that's a good thing. You're getting there. You know, you're starting to curtail um, these unwanted sexual behaviors, but you still need to work on the porn. You still need to do all the things we talk about, be accountable, stay in community, uh, maybe join a small group at small groups online, whatever. Uh, but you and also see a counselor, perhaps, right? But deal with that deep pain, um, those things that you've probably suppressed over the years. Get through some of that, heal some of that, and then you're going to be in a better place to also stop the masturbation. That's all I got for you. I hope that helps. If you have a question for me that you want me to answer in an upcoming Office Hours episode, Go to triplexchurch.com forward slash office dash hours. Submit your question there and I will answer it in the coming weeks. That's all I got for you right now. Have a great weekend.